Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we are going to be doing a brand new Funko News. So let's get started. Okay guys, so before we actually get started into this video, I want to talk about Gemmer, and this is where collectors come to collect. Now if you guys don't know what I'm talking about here, me and Gemmer are doing a huge giveaway. We're giving away a Chase Cuphead Pop. So if you guys want to go down to the link in the description down below, you guys can download their app and find me on there. You guys can check out my stuff. I've got my own Funko products on there, and I've got some of my Hot Wheels cars on there as well. But you guys can check me out on there, and I've been doing a bunch of cool stuff over there. So if you guys haven't been on Gemmer yet, go check it out. Also, uh, the giveaway is ending on May 11th. so you better sign up before then. I know it's only April 27th, but um, you still, you got a bit of time, but I, I would sign up as quick as possible because that way you get, make sure you get into the giveaway. Like I said, Chase Cuphead Pop, but let's get into the, the stuff for today. And I want to talk about that um, Winnie the Pooh Pops are now hitting stores. It's the flocked one and it is a Barnes and Noble exclusive. So that's really cool. Super excited about that one. Um, after that, guys, there are um, certain 15 off 30 um, coupons that you can get on uh, at box lunch. Oh, by the way guys, I'm getting all of my information from Dis.Funko. You guys can check him out on Instagram. Really cool guy. Nick is uh, super nice. And um, so you guys can check out um, on his, they've actually, he's been putting up codes for box lunch money. I don't know exactly which day it ends. Um, there's a 75 off 150 on here. Then there's a bunch of different box lunch codes, but um, overall, guys, just go over to his um, Instagram for that. You guys can check it out. Now, um, the today is Alien Day, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but there was the Alien 8-bit Xenomorph that came out. And it's kind of blue and orange on one side, which looks really cool. Um, I've, I don't have the original 8-bit one, so it might be cool for me to get this one. I do have 8-bit Predator, so it would go well together. Um, after that, on... Um, t Walmart's website, they do have the Blueberry, Diva, and Mac up. Now, they've been going off and on. They've been restocking every once in a while. So, check over on Walmart.com to see if they've got it up because they have been taking... It's been, you know, selling out, then going up, and selling out, then going up. So, if you want it, just keep checking back. Um, Toy Tokyo recently hit 40,000 uh, followers on Instagram, so they are doing a huge giveaway with that. I entered the giveaway, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys should, because that's where I put up my 40k giveaway entry. You guys can find me at TopPopsYT. It's always, you know, linked in the description. Um, but yeah, they're doing a 40,000 follower giveaway, and they're giving away a Chase Astro Boy, a Batman uh, Chrome Blue. They are giving away a Fudo Mio... Mio... Oh? I forget Chase, he's completely gold again. He's from the Pop Asia line, I don't know how to pronounce his name. And then the Ryu Pop Asia as well. All of these are Chases, except for, who just fell? Oh, did you guys get that on camera? I wasn't looking. Ah, well, let's get back to it. Um, so anyways guys, we're doing a huge Chase giveaway, so if you guys wanna check it out, go over to their Instagram, you guys can find that on Toy Tokyo. It's at toy underscore Tokyo. Um, you guys can enter the giveaway to win some awesome pops. And um, yeah, so after that guys, now this one is kind of a spoiler, so I don't know if you guys want to see this one, but right before I mention it guys, skip ahead to this time if you don't want to see Avengers Infinity War spoilers. That time right there. Okay guys, so now that if you are here and you um, wanted to see this, this is Hulk, this is the Hulkbuster, okay? But this is the Hulk bursting out of the Hulkbuster, which means that in the movie, there's Bruce Banner inside of the Hulkbuster, and then he gets angry enough to actually burst out of it, and he comes out of the top. So if you guys saw that by accident and didn't want to see that, sorry, it's not that big of a spoiler, but um, it does just mean that Bruce Banner's inside of the, um, inside of the, the Hulkbuster. I almost said mech, but Hulkbuster. So yeah, it's in EB Games in Canada already, so I'm going to look to see if they have it. They probably don't at mine, but you never know. Um, after that, we've got another one coming up, which is GameStop exclusive Overwatch Black Watch Covert Funko T is hitting stores. Um, I think I talked about this a little while ago, but they now have a cool box for it. You can see it in person. Um, yeah, it's only, it retails for $20, which is kind of expensive for a t-shirt, but it's not that bad. I mean, Target t-shirts are 12 and then this one, you know, comes with Overwatch and all this cool stuff, and it comes in a nice box. It's Funko, so, I mean, 20, bu 20 bucks isn't even that bad. Um, after that, what else do we got here? Okay, so we've got, um, here's one for you. A closer look at the evolution of the Demogorgon plushie. So there is the, it's kind of supposed to be like dart going through the, 
uh, time, but then there's the one where it's got closed, and then it's uh, its mouth actually opens, or no, the back of it unzips, and then what, from there you can open it up to get the littler dart, and then I think that's it, or is there three levels to it? Yeah, then there's a smaller one in, inside of that one, but they didn't show that here, which is dumb. But uh, yeah, they do show the little one inside of the bigger one. But uh, I don't know. I wanted to get that plush. That's probably going to be one of the only plushes I get because if I'm not mistaken, it's life-sized to the size of Dart that he was in the actual show. So that's really cool. Um, after that, we get a nice close look at the Pop in a Box exclusive Venom pool. I do like the way the pink sticks, or the, why did I say sticks? Swords look on him, and they've got the really nice clean paint job on it. I just think it looks really good, and it is the uh, Venom pool. We have gotten a different Venom pool before where it's Deadpool and Venom kind of mashed together, which I think looks cool as well, but, but for some reason I kind of like this one a little bit better. I don't know. You guys put your, uh, comment about that in the comment section below, see what you guys think about it. Um, after that, the Atom Bomb exclusive is coming out. So there was the Chase version that, that's coming out to around, Ga I think GameStop is the place that's getting it the most. Maybe EB Games in Canada, I'm not sure yet because I haven't gone to my EB Games recently. But for sure, Atom Bomb, the uh, Chase version is what I'm going to be looking for. And I think it's the coolest because it is like it's blowing up and it's a nice orange kind of color to go with Atom Bomb. Now there is Atom Bomb and then there is uh, Ghastly Ashley. Then there's uh, Clark Kant, and there's one more, which I can't think of his name. I don't know, anyways. Um, after that, I keep saying after that, but we have a new um, Hot Topic exclusives, because Hot Topic Nerdette did her little talk for the month. And there is Powerline from a Goofy movie coming out next month to, to Hot Topic. So that one's really cool. And that one looks like it could be one of the tallest characters. I'm not sure. But um, then they also released the um, Alice Cooper and Jack-Jack will be coming. I like that Jack-Jack. I think it looks really good. That just chrome color on him. And then they kept the uh, the kind of like the, what's it called? The incredible suit to be the normal color. And then the Alice Cooper I think is in the straight jacket, if I'm not mistaken. So that's really cool as well. Um, what else do we got here? We've got, so on Quid... Um, Funko put up their um, kind of like Power Rangers, but they're all in new poses. So they've got some pretty cool ones here. I like the pink Power Ranger. It looks like she's kicking. And then the uh, red Power Ranger has just got his thing. They've all got their weapons, it looks like. Um, so this would be really cool if they could do these in actual pop form. But they have done so many different Power Rangers. I don't know if they're actually going to do it. Now, another thing in YouTube news with Funko is they actually passed 100,000 subscribers. So congratulations to Funko for that. Um, we are actually halfway to 100,000, which is really cool. So that'd be awesome if we could hit that eventually, get that plaque. Um, but yeah, so that is really cool to see from original Thanks Funko. Um, they passed 100,000. They did a little video on it. It was about 30 seconds. It might be playing over top of us right now if I remember to do it. Um, but yeah, very cool thing. I, I, I just think it's amazing. And they've got the new plaque too. It's the new one. They used to have it where it came in a shadow box. And then it was um, the metal plaque in the middle. Or the metal like kind of like, it was like a silver kind of, I don't know what type of metal it was. But it was the silver play button in the middle. Now it's embossed or in what's it called engraved or put you know what i mean it's indented a bit and it's in uh like a big metal piece and it looks really nice and that's the one that they've been giving out now instead of the older ones so that looks really awesome now the six arm spider-man um came out to walgreens recently you could have ordered it on the website i don't know if it's still up there but check guys because they're going to keep restocking it or check your local stores but i love this thing just because of all the different hand movements that they gave them but i think they should have done the hands where the extra ones had just plain hands and they were ripped through the suit, not in the suit still, because that's what it looked like in the comic book. Um, another thing that I found is Funko is now selling HQ hoodies and they retail for $40. And I think they look really nice. Too bad I couldn't go to uh, Washington to get one. Like if we ever did go to the Funko HQ, which I do really want to go, um, I would for sure pick up one of these. I think it'd be really awesome to get one. Um, another thing, uh, okay, on Wednesday this week, another should also be something that came out or is coming out today for you guys on the Funko Shop. I don't know if something did, but um, they also did the ECCC exclusive Street Fighter Pop Tee, which came out um, on Wednesday. I think it's sold out in some sizes, but you'd have to check. Uh, after that, um, we have another thing on eBay. Uh, the Toucan Sam Fruit Loops Funko Shop exclusive. People are selling them for kind of cheap. And uh, Bearded Popper pointed out to me that they're selling them as prints. 
so that you guys can buy like a picture of it. Don't do that because that's a waste of money for $20. You're probably thinking you're buying a pop and then you get a piece of paper with the thing on it. So it's really dumb guys. So just try to look out for that. If it's too good to be true, then it's probably is. So uh, make sure you're looking for that. Don't risk ordering them because you might not even get anything from it. Uh, but yeah, just be careful with that guys. Now also we have the first look at the SDCC 2018 sticker, which looks really cool. Now it says limited edition, it's red, it's got the 2018 exclusive on there. Now in the background you guys can kind of see a bit of a character. Now, I'm going to make that full screen for you guys so you can see it a bit better. I want you guys to put in the comment section below who you think that is there. I said Michael Jackson uh, with the uh, wolf head or the wolf man head, but it's not. Funko confirmed that on... Um, on Twitter, so it's not that, but we're gonna keep looking and see if we can figure out what it is. Um, another thing is someone's speculating that there could be a Mr. Clean exclusive coming out to Walmart. So I'm gonna want that pop a lot if it does come out, cause that's a pretty cool thing. And uh, we'll keep looking out for that, see if there's any official glams. But I think that's, oh, one more thing before we go guys, Toy Tokyo mystery boxes. They are on their wave three. Now their top things that you can get out of this is the Asia exclusive Captain America. Yes, Captain America. There's also the Chase Astro Boy, the uh, Power Rangers um, Dragon Zord, but he's golden. Uh, there's Rex. You can also get the Iron Man exclusive to uh, Australia, but he's the chrome blue, chrome gold. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you guys can get in this one. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this soon. Um, I got a couple coming in and then one something special for you guys. Uh, but yeah, that'll be coming in soon, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. But I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want any more news, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned because we're going to be doing probably this once a week. I want to try and do it um, unless some other video trumps it and uh, gets over top of that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching.